Right here, I have this $400 office laptop, and today I'll be trying my hardest to turn this into a gaming laptop. Not only am I going to be optimizing Windows, but I'm also going to be using some absurd resolutions and even upgrading the cooling. I'm doing all of this to try and ultimately run a stable 60 FPS on this laptop. It's definitely going to help for you guys to know the actual specs of this laptop before I start the process. So as a quick rundown for the CPU, it's powered by the Intel Core i7 1065G7. I guarantee most of you have never even heard of that CPU. And don't be fooled, just because it's an i7 doesn't necessarily mean it's good for gaming. Anyways, for the RAM, it's rocking 12 gigabytes, which is actually a really fair amount. And then obviously, as most of you would expect, this laptop has Intel integrated graphics. So it doesn't come as a surprise that this thing runs an unstable 60 FPS in Fortnite. So the first kind of upgrade I'm going to be doing to this laptop is finding an optimization guide. I could obviously go on YouTube and find some like 20 minute long guide, but I'm just going to be skipping that and using this super simple simple optimization app. So if we go to YouTube right here and just type up EXM, we're gonna get the first channel, which is this guy right here, EXM Tweaks. So pretty much he has this FPS boosting tool that is really simple to use and you can just download it straight from his Discord server. All right, so here are the actual tweaks itself. I think this is his newest tweaking app. So right now I'm just gonna do all the tweaks and I'll see you guys once that's done. Before we get into the rest of the upgrade process, I just like to tell you guys about this product from Comica. This is the reason that I can record high quality voice recordings straight from my phone no matter how far away i'm standing specifically this is their boom xd2 pro lavalier microphone it all comes in this really convenient carrying case that fits all of its accessories inside you not only get the receiver that plugs into your phone or camera but you also get the two microphones themselves as well as a bunch of accessories like cables wired microphones and even wind muffs if you're recording outside speaking of outside something many of you guys have never seen in your life this microphone picks up signals from up to 320 28 feet so if you're recording outdoors you can walk as far away as you want from your camera or phone and the signals will still be picked up and if you're in an area with lots of ambient background noise you can enable the built-in noise cancellation mode which removes all of that the overall design of this microphone set is really nice as well they have tons of controls that show on the digital screen the receiver even has 16 gigabytes of storage so if you wanted you can record audio straight onto the microphone itself and then later export it onto your computer but that's enough talking about the features, let me demonstrate the quality difference when using the built-in iPhone microphone versus the Comica microphone. This is the sound quality of my phone's built-in microphone when I'm standing a decent distance away. As you can tell, the quality isn't great, and most importantly, it picks up a lot of other noises. Which transitions perfectly into using the Comica microphone. Not only does this sound a lot more clear, but it's so much more convenient since I can be standing anywhere at any angle and the signals will still be picked up. Anyways, the links to Comica and this specific microphone microphone will be in the description so let's get back into the video so after the tweaks were done being applied i made sure to go and update windows to the latest version but the next step of the process is going to be changing my resolution the way i'm going to be doing this is by using an app called alpha res it literally applies whatever resolution you enter into your game so you don't have to dig through the game files to manually change the resolution and since this laptop is pretty low end i'm gonna try out 1024 by 768 it might sound weird but this is the same resolution i I used to play on back in like 2020 so i could just hop into some fortnite and end the video there but i'm gonna be taking these upgrades to the next level by completely improving the cooling on this laptop so the way i'll be doing that is by using this laptop cooling pad from lano so right now i'm just gonna unbox the laptop cooling pad You literally get a power adapter like whole entire charger that you would see in like a laptop but for this itself i can already tell this is probably going to be like super crazy when it turns on so here's the cooling pad itself this thing is absolutely crazy like it's bigger than the laptop itself obviously i think this is the sealed foam right here to make sure that none of the air coming from the fan like leaks out because you obviously want it to be as efficient as possible and then as you can see on the side of it there are three usb ports so if you wanted you could plug in like your keyboard your mouse your headphones into this and then right here as you can see is the little touchpad controls which we're going to look at in just a little bit so when they emailed me they specifically mentioned the temperature difference when you use this cooler according to them it drops your cpu and gpu's temperatures by up to 20 degrees celsius and to me that sounds pretty insane and if you know anything about laptops it's that they tend to get really hot while gaming all right so i just plugged it into the wall and right now i'm just going to turn it on oh my yo it just lit up yo 
Yo, this thing is crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but like it's already making a sound. I think the fan's already on. So right here, it says 300. So that's the speed it's at right now. But as I said before, it goes up to 2,800 RPM. So I can't even imagine how loud it's gonna be. As you can see right here, there's a button to switch the lighting modes. You just basically tap the button. It's not even like an actual physical button, but that's pretty nice. I'm gonna put the laptop on the actual cooling pad and then show you guys the temperature difference. So here are the temperatures of this laptop when it's completely normal and running Fortnite. Right now, I don't even have the laptop cooler on just because I'm trying to see the temperatures. And as you can see, it's going up to 94 degrees Celsius, which is just about borderline thermal throttling. And honestly, for this laptop, that's just way too hot. And right now I'm touching the keyboard right here and it's actually really hot, like up here near the speakers. But once we turn on the cooling pad right here, which should start a difference i'm gonna turn it up to 800 rpm because i'm pretty sure that is a really good speed like a balance between you know loudness and just effectiveness so right now it's literally at 85 degrees celsius sometimes dropping to 82 so yeah, honestly and that's on like 1200 rpm and this thing goes up to 2800 and as you can see right now it is at 80 degrees dropping to 77 degrees and that's like so much an improvement from almost 100 degrees i just put it to the max level which is 2800 i'm gonna let it sit here for a minute and show you guys the temperatures after that so it's been quite a while i put it back down to 1200 rpm and the lowest i saw go to was still around like 70 degrees celsius and it's even making the whole laptop like a lot cooler especially on the keyboard area so if you're using like the built-in keyboard it's so much more usable so now that we've gone through all of the optimizations let's see just how much fps we can get in fortnite starting with creative so i've been in creative for like a little bit right now and in fortnite we're getting around 200 fps in creative but when we actually look up it goes up to like 220 230 fps which is honestly kind of crazy in my opinion that a laptop like this without a GPU can actually get this much FPS. We are cranking right here, still getting like 160 FPS. And yeah, it does feel a little bit weird on this resolution. Oh my God, we just got a huge stutter bell. What the? It dropped to like one frame. Yeah, I can't play as good on this as my uh, actual laptop. Oh, it just froze again. I'm too good for it, honestly. I'm making the game freeze, that's crazy. But right now, I'm gonna hop into a real game and see how the laptop performs there. So I'm in a real game, Spawn Island. As you can see, it is stuttering quite a bit, but on average, we're getting like up to 90 FPS. This is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Like I did not expect to get this amount of FPS. Oh my gosh, dude. Yo, teammate. Let's go, my teammate clutched up. Oh my god, I just got the kill. No way, I just got the kill. Yo, I was stuttering like every second too. Let's go, 114. Yo, I'm crazy. That was literally a loot delivery right there, bro. Come on. It's going a lot better than I expected. Like before making this video, I thought this would get like 30 frames or something. Cause that's kind of what it used to do in like chapter two, but not gonna lie. It might be the laptop cooling pad. Make sure to cop this cooling pad if you get like a really good laptop even. Cause gaming laptops, bro, they don't even put like good cooling fans in them by default. So what the? Peter Griffin, what are you doing, bro? Still getting 90 frames around 80 degrees Celsius. Like bro, it's so stable. What the? Yo, what the? Yo, what? Dude. <laughs> Yo, they had a legendary pump too. 